Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see a question today. So today's question I'm taking off from the topic of integration curve. So we have been asked to find the value of one integral which is given to us that says, find the integral, the limits are given from zero to half and the expression that is given to us says one plus two, three upon x plus 1 the whole square, 1 minus x the whole raised to 6, this is whole raised to 1 by 4 dx. So we have been asked to find the value of this integral in the question and the four options that are given to us as 2, minus 2, 1 and 3. So these are the four options also given to us. Let's solve this integral and let's try to find the answer for the question which is given to us. So this is our third question on this series of questions on JWE advance. So let's start off with the solution here. So if I try to find the first step that I need to do here is I can just expand this denominator. So we'll get an understanding that what I can substitute x as. So first of all, if I put the limit 0 to half, 1 plus root 3 upon, here I have x plus 1 whole raised to 2 and into 1 by 4. So it is 2 into 1 by 4. And further here I have this is 1 minus x whole raised to 6 into 1 by 4. So now if I see here, 2 by 4, 2 1s are 2 twos are. So you have x plus 1 raised to half, that is 0 0.5. And here you have 1 minus x raised to 6 by 4. So 6, I can cancel it as 2, 3 are 2. So, so 3 by 2, that is 1.5. The whole thing is with dx. Now if I solve this further, I get this as 0 to half. 1 plus 3 upon. This becomes x plus 1 raised to half that is 0 0.5 this becomes 1 minus x raised to 1.5 now first of all what i can do here is i can make one more variable or one more expression same as the power of this that is 1.5 so what i can do here is i have 1 plus x already here in terms of 0.5 so if i multiply and divide by 1 plus x raised to 1.5 more. If I'm dividing the denominator, I should also multiply the denominator. I will have to multiply also with 1 plus x raised to 1. So now my expression turns out to be to me. Integral of 0 to half. 1 plus root 3 is as it is in the numerator. Denominator now becomes x plus 1 raised to 0 0.5 plus 1.5. So it becomes x plus 1 the whole square. So 0 0.5 plus 1.5, you know, it is 2. And further, this actually becomes 1 minus x upon 1 plus x, the whole raised to same power that is 1. So now if I try to solve this further, let's see what we get here. So your integral becomes 0 to half. 1 plus root 3, x plus 1 square, and further you have the expression here as 1 minus x upon 1 plus x, the whole raised to 1.5, I can write that as 3 by 2 dx. Now what I can you do here is I need to make some substitutions. So I understand that if I substitute, 1 minus x upon 1 plus x as another variable. How do I understand that I need to substitute this only? See, if I substitute this, it is in the form of u by v. And whenever we take the derivative of u by v, we always have in the denominator v square. 
So v is nothing but one plus x. So it would become one plus x square in the denominator. So I can replace this directly. So that gives me the idea that I should substitute one minus x upon one plus x as t. So if I do that substitution, I can use the idea of u by v. So derivative of u by v is as v into derivative of u minus u into derivative of v upon v. The whole thing dx. So now what I understand from this is I get at minus one minus x minus one plus x upon one plus x the whole square. This becomes dx is equal to minus x plus x gets cancelled. You get here minus two, but I don't need here minus two. So what I'll do is I'll write one upon one plus x the whole square dx. Is nothing but equal to minus dt. So you get here that I can replace this entire thing as minus dt. So dx upon one plus x square, the whole square can be replaced with minus dt by two. And if you see the limits will also change. So let's understand what will be my new limits now. So x was given from zero to half. If I apply that idea with t we already know t is 1 minus x upon 1 plus x so if i put it as 0 it becomes 1 minus 0 upon 1 plus 0 so t becomes equal to 1 and if you see the next was half so 1 minus half upon 1 plus half that gives you half upon 3 by 2 you get 1 by 3 so t becomes 1 by 3 so now your new integral becomes 1 to 1 by 3, you have already been given in the numerator 1 plus root 3. This entire expression we substituted as t, so it becomes t raised to 3 by 2. And dx upon 1 plus x, the whole square is nothing but minus dt by 2. So you get minus dt. So now your new integral becomes minus half root 3 plus 1 and t raised to minus 3 by 2. So if I apply the idea now, we already know that integral of x raised to n is nothing but x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1, right, plus c. So now if you apply this idea, the other limits already given 1 to 1 by 3. So now if you use this idea, you get the answer of that minus half 3 plus 1. This becomes t raised to minus 3 by 2 upon n plus 1 that is t raised to minus 3 by 2 plus 1 on minus 3 by 2 plus 1. The limits given to us as go from 1 to 1 by 3. So now your answer becomes minus half root 3 plus 1 minus 3 by 2 plus 1, so it becomes minus half, upon this becomes again minus half. And the limits go from 1 to 2. So your minus half and minus half gets cancelled, you are left with root 3 plus 1 upon t raised to half, and the limits go from 1 to 1 by 3. Now if you see here, I get the answer for the question, let's just solve these limits. So root 3 plus 1, I'll take it as common only. You have 1 upon t raised to half is nothing but root t, root t, 1 to 1 by 3. So now your limits change to 3 plus 1. You get here 1 upon root of 1 by 3 minus 1 upon root of. So you know root of 3 plus 1. This becomes root 3 upon root 1 minus 1 upon root 1, that is. So you get here root 3 plus 1. Here you get it as root 3 minus 1. So a plus b, a minus b gives you a square minus b square. So you get root 3 square minus 1. So 3 minus 1, that is. So you get the answer for the question which is given to us. 
and the answer for this question gives us the answer as so this was the question given to us. We get the answer for the question as two. So the correct answer for the question turns out to the two. So A is the correct answer. I hope you have understood how to solve these types of integration where you need to solve them further and then try to convert and make some adjustments and then you can substitute that as some other variable. And when you substitute that as some other variable, then the question becomes easy to solve and just apply the effects. So you get the answer as I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JWA. Thank you.